Alright, um, I'm going to make this video real quick, short and simple. Um, how to trickle powder when you don't have a powder trickler. Well, a lot of times, you know, people can buy these fancy um, deals to sit there and wind out certain amounts of powder. Some people will use a scoop and just kind of tap them in there. It can be, you know, whatever flips your trigger. What I found works the best is a bottleneck rifle case. This is, in fact, a 3030 case. What I do is I just take, move all this stuff out of the way. Well, you can see, I just take my case, take my powder. In this case, it's 4198. And I just look where I can see down inside it. And I'll just drizzle that down in there until I start seeing it into the case. Also kind of give you a feel of uh, how much powder one of these cases will hold. And then naturally you'll need a scale. Turn it on and zero it out. And I know this one weighs a particular amount when I take it off. It always goes to 123.5. Then all you got to do is take your case, and as you want to trickle up to a mount. Now, if you if you're doing a bunch of uh, rounds and you got a powder thrower, that's fine. But usually, like rifle rounds, I only sit down and do a few at a time. You know, maybe up to twenty, and I want to make sure that they're all exactly the same. So I'll, do, I'll trickle my powder, and this is how I do it. I just take my case and I'll start dumping it in. And all you gotta do is just take and roll it in between your fingers while it's while you're pouring it out. Just roll it like this. Being the bottleneck of the cartridge, the powder will trip down into here and then just trickle out the front. So if you just take it just like so, you see you can just roll it back and forth until you get to the amount that you want. And it's a feel thing, you'll get a feel for it. Like in this case, the particular load I want to do is 22 grains. So, so I got 22 and a tenth. You can always take your scoop and just take out just what you need to get there. For this particular load, one tenth's not going to matter, but and that's how I get to it. Then I'll just take my case, throw my powder in, set it to the side, and I'll trickle another one. Depending on the powder, you know, <clears throat> this this case will actually hold almost twice the load that I'm loading. So if I fill it up pretty close to the top, I can get about two out of it. So I just figured I'd show that uh, some people, you know, a lot of reloaders are starting out on a budget. And they don't have, you know, a massive amount of money to start putting into, um, Reloading equipment, you know, they get the basics, a manual, and then a press and move on. So that's, that's something that will get you through. That's how I like to trickle my powder. I don't even own a powder trickler. I have a a uh, perfect powder measure that I use when I'm doing, um, you know, more than a box or so. So I'll just throw them all the same charge. But I like to trickle my rifle rounds to get them perfect. And you, like I said, you just roll your case back and forth in between your fingers, and you can trickle it up. Even though a lot of people say these little digital scales aren't good for trickling, if you get the feel for them, like I said, with that little case rolling it, 
and you can get your your uh, um, charge right every time. And that's how that's how I do it. Pretty easy peasy. I hope that helps somebody out. And I'm out of here. <laughs>